Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be talking about Niagara Materials in Unreal 4. So like usual, the first thing we want to do is right click, go to effects, and we're going to create an emitter. We'll make it from a template, and we're going to use the hanging particulates. Then we'll give it a good name, and we'll open it up. So if you're doing effects, it's really important that you do have a basic understanding of how to make materials, but in this video, we're going to go over how to make a basic particle material. So if we take a look at initialize particle and scale color, in initialize particle, we have the color, and in scale color, we have scale RGB and scale alpha. And in both of these, we can change the color or we can change the alpha, but that is only possible because of the material. So if we go to the sprite render, you can see that there's a default sprite material on here. What I'd like to do now is walk you through how to set up a material for particles. So we're gonna move this out of the way and we're gonna to go to our content browser. We'll right click, we're gonna to go to materials and textures and we want a material. We'll name it M for master material and then whatever you wanna name it. Then we'll open that up and we'll hit save. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to take a look at the blend mode and the shading model. So in blend mode, we click on the drop down. You most likely want masked or translucent. It really depends on what you're trying to do. I'm going to choose translucent. And then the shading model, a lot of people like to use unlit, but you can also use default lit. So I'm going to use default lit. And then I'm going to right click and I'm looking for particle color. I'll hit enter. This node right here is what makes all of that possible in the emitter. Being able to scale the color, change the color, change the opacity. So for our basic setup, we're gonna take the top node and plug that into emissive color. That's just all the colors together. And then the bottom node, the alpha, we're gonna take that and plug it into the opacity. And that's it. This is our basic setup. We hit save. And then I'm gonna come back to the content browser. And I don't really recommend using a master material on your assets. So you want to right click and you want to create material instance. I'll take that away. And then at the beginning, we're going to name it MI for material instance. We'll open that up, save it real quick. And we're going to come back over to the emitter and we're going to drag this material instance into the sprite render. Before you do that as a warning, it's probably going to do some compiling once you do that. Now, if you take a look at the particles that are in here, you can see that they're rectangular and they're not circular. We'll come back to that in a little bit. But you can see that this is now fading in and they're fading out over time. And if we wanted, we can come to scale color and in scale RGB, XYZ is RGB. So on the X, we're gonna set this to something like 10. And you'll see that these start to become emissive red. Now there's a few different ways to get that rounded edge. The easiest way and the fastest way for me is to do it by a texture because chances are you're gonna be making a texture anyways. So in our master material, I'm gonna hold down T on the keyboard, just make a texture sampler. I'm gonna convert this to a parameter. You just call this T mask. And then in here, we're gonna to go to the texture input, click on this drop down. And what I like to do is I like to go to the view options and I'll turn on show developer content, engine content, plugin content, because I'm just trying to debug something really fast. And if you type in gray, you see this gray scale gradient circle. So I'm gonna select that, and then I'm gonna multiply this RGB by the RGB of the particle color, and I'll plug that into emissive, and then I'm gonna do another multiply, and and depending on the texture that you have, you may want the RGB, you may just want the individual pins, or you might want the alpha. I'm just gonna take the RGB, and I'm gonna multiply that by the alpha, and then we'll plug that into opacity. I'm gonna hit save. And now if you come to the material instance, you can see that if you turn this on, you can just switch out the texture whenever you have something different. So back in the emitter, you can see that these are circular now. And they have a gradient to them. So once again, the scale color, and the initialized particle color, these are dependent on having a material that has particle color in it. All right guys, this covers making a Niagara material. 
If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.